Greetings all, I'd like to do a review on this watch. Now this watch is actually called the Swish Legend. Comes in this black box, it's also got an outer sleeve on as well, so I'll remove that. Now inside the box, the box has also got this red book. which is Swish Legends 5 year limited warranty and instruction manual. Now inside it you've got information about the um, other models and how to operate the watch and also a little history and information about Swish Legends themselves. Now it does actually sit quite nicely in a little pouch at the back of the box. Now this model watch that I want to talk about specifically is called an Expedition. Now the size of the watch is approximately 47mm across excluding the crown. Thickness it's around 13mm. Now the crown is screwed down, so it's actually screwed down um, for water safety. Now to operate it basically you'd unscrew it and you'd feel it click out and then you'd turn it, the first turn actually adjusts the date and if you pull it out again another click that's where you turn it accordingly to adjust the fingers the time. Always a good idea once you've adjusted your time or your date to always screw, um, screw the crown back in uh, for water safety. It is 200 meters water resistance. Now the bezel, the bezel turns unidirectional so it goes round anti-clockwise. Now it's got a nice clicks to it, it does feel quite nice, it feels like it, the watch has been pretty nicely built. Not too hard, not too soft. Sometimes you can find with some watches the bezel is a bit tight or a bit too loose or wobbly. But this one feels quite nice. Now I don't know if I mentioned um, the numbers and the markings on the dial, they do, they do light up, it is luminous. Not the greatest of loom but it does work for what it's worth. Now with the clasp, the clasp is um, stainless steel just as the watch, brushed stainless steel. Um, it basically opens up as a join in the middle, kind of flicks out like that, so it's quite a good neat little idea. The casing at the back of the watch is actually screwed down. On the back you've also got some uh, markings, the name of Swiss Legend and some information regarding the crystal on the front. On the end of the crown I've also got the um, Swish logo, Swish Legend logo. Now the glass is said to be scratch proof according to Swish Legend. Now it's quite a heavy watch, especially when I first started it felt quite heavy but as time went on I kind of, kind of got used to it very quickly. Now I'll just try it on so you can get an idea of how it looks on the wrist. Now the clasp is kind of strange, we just kind of tuck it under and clip it over and the same with the other side. Tuck it under and clip it over. Very nice clasp, nice how it kind of joins up there and you can hardly see the, the, the join. Now the watch is very comfortable to wear, it does feel very comfortable on. Now it is quartz battery operated. Now 
Okay, now it's a simple watch and I do like it. It's not expensive as well and that's what I like about this kind of a watch. Um, you can get it online on average, you know, if you search around from anything from £45 up to about £120. So it does vary in different, different places. Okay, so thanks everyone for watching. Bye-bye.